hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm filming another quarantine vlog and i don't remember the last time i posted one of these i feel like it was quite a while ago you know so the fact that we're still in quarantine and i'm having to call this a quarantine vlog but anyways i thought i'd film another vlog obviously it's not going to be too jam-packed of things but i still really enjoy these quarantine vlogs so yeah i'm just going to show you what i get up to today what i eat and all that good stuff. I do just want to quickly start off this vlog by speaking about the Black Lives Matter movement. Obviously, if you've been on social media or just the media in general, you'll see how much coverage it's had and how much people are speaking about it, which is great. So I'm filming this. So Blackout Tuesday was Tuesday and now it's the weekend, if that makes sense. Um, obviously, the a few videos that I posted prior to this, obviously all pre-filmed and scheduled because... I have a full-time job but I can't kind of just film whenever I feel like it I have to sort of save it all for weekends and work not work and um, just like upload it and edit it all on a weekend but I did want to quickly speak about it and just leave a few useful links down below petitions petition petitions um ways to donate etc in the down but I'm sure you've all seen these links before now I think um you know it's been amazing that so many people have been posting about it but I'm just going to link a few down below that I found really helpful. It's just good to do a lot of reading. In this past week, I've learned of so many cases that I had no idea about before. So I think it's just so important to learn more. Like I said, there's been a ton of links and resources and stuff on social media. I actually started watching When They See Us on Netflix the other day. And I stopped watching it because I just found it really, like, just hard to watch and uncomfortable. But then I found a really interesting quote on Instagram. And it was like... If you're watching any of these documentaries or anything like that and you turn it off because you feel uncomfortable or you find it hard to watch, whatever, that is your privilege. Like that is, you are privileged because you can just turn it off and because it, it doesn't affect you. You don't have to think about it in that way because it doesn't affect you. I hope that makes sense. But I read that quote, so I am going to continue watching it um, on Netflix and stuff. But yeah, just wanted to mention that and put a few links um in the description box okay so i want to show you an exciting but impulsive purchase that i made so i made a purchase the other day which i probably shouldn't have done well no actually i'm not gonna say that because i feel like it was fine so i really wanted this bag. well to be fair there's a lot of things in life that i really want but obviously i can't purchase them all but i really wanted this bag for a while and then it, it was in stock on the website and i was like oh my god is this a sign obviously it wasn't a sign but I took it as a sign. So I bought it. Because basically, so it was my birthday, like, what, two, three weeks ago. Um, and I only asked for money because, obviously, I'm not doing anything. There's no need for me to, like, ask for things. Um, so I just asked for money and then, obviously, didn't spend it because nothing to do. I usually would have spent it on, like, a birthday dress. I was going out for brunch up London. I probably would have gone out for drinks. You know, gone out and celebrating. I probably would have spent the majority of the money. Um, so I had that. I also had a little bit of money from YouTube, which was really exciting. I'd made not like loads of money or anything, but a little bit of money. So I thought, you know what? This is going to be a lockdown birthday treat. But after this, I'm never buying myself anything again. So it is the Louis Vuitton bum bag. You've probably seen this bag on Instagram and stuff. I feel like it was very fashionable, like last summer, I feel like. And you sort of wear it like this but i'm honestly obsessed with it like it's so me so you can wear it like that or underneath your arm like that i mean to be fair i haven't really worn it anywhere because we haven't been going anywhere but a couple of times i've been out for a walk and stuff i've just been wearing it on the arm like that which i also love but i'm just obsessed like, i was really nervous to not nervous well yeah nervous really to buy it because obviously it is a lot of money and i haven't really spent that much money on something before except maybe like my macbook but once it came i was just so happy with it just like so me in a bag um i was looking at i know like another popular louis bag is the multi pochette pochetta i don't know so you could contact them and be put on like a list i think but one it was a little bit more expensive and two i prefer this like this is just more my style i know it was more popular maybe last year but this is like more my style and I'm just obsessed. I kind of need to stuff it because it's going a bit like droopy. But yeah, I thought I'd show you my little lockdown birthday gift to myself. And I am actually, I'm so happy with it. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be, I, I need to stop buying things. Well, to, I actually, I haven't really bought that much to be fair. I mean, I did like a Zara haul, but I haven't really been buying that much to be honest. So, but after that, that's it now. No more spending. I'm going to just save, save, save. But I'm really happy with it, so I wanted to show you what I picked up because I was really excited about it. And I also wanted to show you another little mini haul. Now this, in my head, because the weather's been so nice and now it's 
rubbish like it's actually terrible but i got sent these when the weather was beautiful so i thought they were going to come in handy but i'm just gonna have to wait a little while so i can wear them but a brand called sojo's sent me a few of their sunglasses over this part of the video is sponsored by sojo's but i'm obsessed with these you can get them on amazon like i've got amazon prime so i don't know if anyone well my mum's got amazon prime i don't have it i believe all these glasses are on prime so you can just get them really quickly they come in this lovely box and they come in like this come with stuff to clean them as well these ones are really cool they're like a cool like oh my god stop saying cool they're like a pink plasticky material a really funky shape i just think these look really really wicked i love these these ones are more of a classic one but they are a little bit bigger i feel like these look very like classy i feel like if you're going for a classy vibe these are a classy pair of sunglasses they're just tall to shell and these are like proper yeah proper sunglasses i thought that sounded silly but they are like if you put these on indoors it makes it hard to see because they actually properly protect your eyes from the sun um i have a few from like primark and stuff which they don't really do anything to be honest and then these ones are probably well yeah they're my favorite ones i'd say they're like these retro white and black pointy ones these are so sick i love the white and black together i've got ones like these but they're like retro square but this is like with the cat is this cat i think this is called a cat one um yeah actually these are so sick these are my favorite and then last of the sunglasses are another classic pair but they're a little bit bigger as well these are like a round shape and then they've got tortoise shell around it and the actual like shade part is black but i think these look really really cool these are quite big as well so if you prefer like a bigger sunglass this is probably more your style but this looks really cool with your hair down like this I think these look really cool but i will link all of the sunglasses down below and then i did pick up a pair as well these are the is it blue vision or green vision i can't remember now these are the blue vision frames and i've seen a lot about these on instagram and stuff so basically they are supposed to be for if you suffer with like headaches if you work on a computer let me take this off if you work on a computer um all day these are supposed to help with like headaches and just help protect your eyes um, obviously i work full time like on a computer um and then obviously i'm doing like editing youtube videos and stuff in my spare time so i'm on a laptop a lot and these are supposed to help with headaches and migraines um i used to suffer a lot with migraines and headaches not so much anymore but if i do spend all day staring at a computer i can get a bit of a headache so i thought i'd pick these up to give them a go to protect the eyes you know my eyes are quite fragile i'm losing my sight at a rapid rapid rate but i wear contact lenses so i can wear these fine i picked up these like circle gold frames and i just love the way that these actually look i think they look really really cool obviously it's to protect your eyes as well so i'm gonna start using these when i work every day i will link the sunglasses in the description box as well really happy with these obviously not wearing them at the minute because it is terrible weather but I'm prepared. I think me and my sister are going to go to Starbucks now at the drive-thru. To be honest, I'm more of a like Costa gal. Um, not really a, the biggest Starbucks fan, but I can't be picky. It's the only drive-thru near me. So I'm going to go to a Starbucks drive-thru and I might even get myself a lunch. I've only ever been to the Starbucks drive-thru like twice in my life. So I don't even know if you can you get lunch through a drive-thru. I would assume so, but we're going to go to Starbucks for lunch. It is, it's 11.16. So I mean, it's quite, it's going to be like a brunch because I haven't actually eaten yet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. Can't get that house musical song out of my head, even though it's really weird. I haven't heard it, I haven't listened to it. Why? Well, you know, it's song. work, work, work away. Work Isn't away. that not even. Wait, what? That's a house musical three. You became obsessed with that song for a while. What is it? Walk Away by, by Gabriella. How's you go it going? Right, and then you go left, like straight afterwards. Well, I just sang it, and it's like, you know, I'm strong, but I can't take that. Walk away, walk away. Right, you go right, but then you go left like Didn't you weren't you on this hill when you were like didn't you stall? Yes. Is it you? Yes. I think I've stalled on every hill yeah. that's possible to stall on. Right. King prawn sandwich, now that doesn't smell snush. I can't even smell it, I don't know why I said that. I wasn't like I want. See, but they don't have ham and cheese panini up there. How do you know that there's more there when you get to it? I want to try cinnamon swell, but that would be greedy. Wouldn't it really? No, I'm not going to get one. Mainly because I don't want to pay for it. Mate, this car is on his phone because he's just not focusing and it's really annoying me. Now the tomato mozzarella panini. Ruby chocolate that is pink whipped cream. I'm going to go for that. What, ruby? No, I'm going to go for a tomato mozzarella panini. 
God, I'm gonna drop it. Oh no, I'm gonna try and go as close to the window as I can. Don't say that because then you're gonna make drop it. Happen. Please don't cry. Make it. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we, no. This is where we did cry. Mm -hmm. It was there. Church hall. Yeah, that church hall. God, I actually hated it. I dreaded it. Well, it my mum would way. buy us the stuff so that like it was really embarrassing for telling bits of things. She kept, they, yeah, they kept telling us we were scared, but mum wouldn't buy it. Your head so people could punch you. <laughs> and then they kept saying, oh, you're going to go get it? We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then mum wouldn't let us buy it. They didn't like, but mum, sensei but then we tells us we need to. <laughs> but sensei said. Do you remember that sense? Yeah, sensei. Um, when we did that grading once, and then we got six months, we were so that angry. Was the... I'm right no, my death. I was really happy because we didn't have to do it for another six months. I was, I was angry like... because I was embarrassed. And like, how, how did I not pass? Got six months, and I remember writing my diary like, I hate sensei. I hate sensei. What is that thing what you have to sensei? say after a kata? Yeah, to be like, oh, yeah, to say kata. Something. I'm not gonna have heard that word in ages. Kata. I remember like. <laughs> In primary school, uh, we used to the playground be like, oh, when we'd have a grade in, we'd be like, Megan, we need to we need to meet up in the playground so we can practice our kata. Practice our kata, please. Sorry guys. I'm sorry, we're, we're practicing our kata. I've got I've got to stop this guys. I've got to go practice my kata. <laughs> like, we didn't even fucking like it. I'm sorry guys, I'm practicing my kata, and then we'd actually be in the playground. The playground. <laughs> <laughs> what did we get up to? Orange belt or something? I think we got up to like the third belt. I know, it was that. yellow. I oh, know. I think it was yellow. You used to get like a stripe and then like a block colour and yeah. And I actually thought at one point I'm gonna black belt. I'm gonna be the, the karate kids. Yeah, it's not the same at home. At home, it's just not the same. That is very caramelly. Oh wow! Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, my ice lattes are officially rubbish at home. And then this is a tomato mozzarella panini. Mm. Good choice. No regrets here. So it is two o'clock now, and I'm just editing a thumbnail. I've got this um, Dean haul, which I'm pretty sure would have already been up by now. So yeah, I've just been editing that thumbnail. I have been uploading three times a week now for, I feel like this is the third week that I'm gonna be doing it. Um, I've been uploading three times a week, which I'm really happy with. I'm just loving it at the minute because I think because of lockdown, like when I've edited, it, like filmed a video and edited it, and then I've got nothing else to do, I'm just like, now what you know i feel like it's just i've been really enjoying it because it's something to focus on and yeah so i've been doing three a week just sort of been posting on random days to be honest with you i think i think i'm going to start going back to work soon because the shops are opening what day is it today they're going to be opening like not next week the week after so i feel like once shops are open then we're going to be going back to work because if you can go to shops then you can go to work i think and obviously i don't think i'm going to be able to upload three times a week so i'm not going to have the time that i've got now which is annoying because i like doing three a week because i can put out different stuff but yeah we shall see i just don't think that three will be doable but we'll see yeah it's two o'clock now and honestly i'm just like what do I do now? Two o'clock, don't know what to do. I think I might go take the dog out for a little walk. Um, yeah. Oh, if I, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Megan Lou underscore underscore. Posted my story that I was watching Crossroads the other day. Does anyone remember that film with Britney Spears? Like, honestly, that is my favourite film ever. And me and my sister used to watch it. I think I've actually said this in one of my videos. But me and my sister used to watch it every single school holiday. It's like a treat. We would go to the corner shop and get um, that loads of chocolate. And then sit and watch Crossroads. Because I was obsessed with Britney Spears. Like, Britney Spears. Like, I wanted to be her so bad. And I was so in love with um, the man in it, Ben. He's still, like, honestly, he's so fit, I can't even go. Yeah, we hadn't watched it in, like, five years because um, you cannot find it online. Like, you can't find it. I don't know, if, does anyone else know this movie? Because it seems like it's just lost from the face of the earth. You can't find it online. And, obviously, when we moved house, all the DVDs were, like, buried in the basement. So, me and my sister were brave. We went in the basement. We powered through. And we found Crossroads on DVD. We watched it the other day. Oh my god, we were both literally nearly crying. Like, we're so dramatic. But I literally love that movie and the songs. And now I've just been listening to Britney Spears songs all the time. Britney Spears, like, those were good times. They were good times. I I loved Britney Spears. I wanted to be Britney so bad. Like, she's so pretty. Like, if, you, if any of you have watched Crossroads before, like, in that movie, she's literally stunning. Like, her face is stunning. 
but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and go take the dog for a walk do you want to go for a walk do you want to go for a walk baby do you want to go for a walk we're just gonna sit there do you want to go for a walk that's it yeah does anyone else's dog do this i got to put a harness on her she just looks the other way do you want to go for a walk What you got? Don't eat it. Show you Bonnie's new collar. Look, it's so cute. Oh, tired. It's like a little yellow collar with her lovely ginger fur. Are you ginger? She's a ginger baby. It's actually really cute. It's like, I hope you can see, but a little yellow, yellow collar. It's very cute. Just chilling. And my mum's just done me dinner. I've got spaghetti and meatballs. I'm not going to really show because I'm not going to lie. It looks quite unappetising. Um, but I've been craving spaghetti and meatballs for days. So I am buzzing. Now I'm just watching Hazelwood's new um, vlog where she gets her puppy. And I actually can't even cope. It's like the sweetest puppy, prettiest puppy ever. Um, and I'm really jealous. But yeah, I'm going to have my spaghetti and meatballs. I have the biggest portion ever. And I can't wait. So I've just been editing my video for the past like hour or so. I've been trying out these uh, blue light glasses. I am, um, yeah, I ate this whole can yesterday. This whole can, let's not talk about it. But now I'm going to paint my nails. Honestly, after lockdown, I don't even know if I'm gonna get my nails done because I've just been changing my nail color every week and I feel like I do a fine job. Like there's no point paying like 25 quid every two to three weeks when I can do it myself. So I'm gonna paint them an orange color. This is Rimmel's 60 second shine in this color Wild Spice. If anyone cares, so I'm going to paint them this color and just watch a bit of YouTube. I've been obsessed with YouTube at the minute. I feel like I go through stages, um, but at the minute it's literally like all I've been watching is YouTube. Um, I've been loving at the minute. Let me just subscribe to Georgia May and I've been like obsessed with her videos. Like I've been watching old ones, like her old holiday vlogs and stuff and making me want to go on holiday. So I've sort of been stalking her videos. Um, so yeah, I've been obsessed with her. Who else do I love? I love Amber Knight's video. She's always one of the first people I click on in my subscription box. I love Imagination. I just love her. I think she's great. Also been watching a lot of Aisha and Zelia. I love their hauls. Um, Olivia O'Neill. I love her videos. But anyways, I'm going to watch some YouTube while I paint my nails because that will help them dry because I won't be like doing anything with my hands. I feel like this vlog has been really boring. I haven't done anything, obviously, but all vlogs are kind of going to be like this because there is nothing to do. It's so annoying because I haven't been doing this channel for like a long time. Um, I started nearly a year ago now, but I didn't properly do it for like the first six months or so i was just sort of uploading maybe once a fortnight so like this summer i was really excited to vlog all my holidays and just even like fun vlogs like going to london little days out like all the fun stuff that i wanted to film capture on camera and um yeah just sat in my house for three months so yeah gonna paint my nails so i just painted them this like really pretty orange color they're not perfect but it's 11 o'clock now so i'm just gonna take my makeup off and go to bed so i hope this vlog wasn't too boring i feel like it's hard to make it as interesting as possible because there's really not that much to do and um, yeah, i hope it wasn't too boring please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and you do like uh, vlogs and quarantine vlogs um so i know to make some more and i will see you in my next video bye